interesting one don't see too many like this CBX thousand this belongs to a customer of mine that I do quite a lot of work for on and off it was built by a company I think he said in Denmark or Sweden as far as I'm aware it's never actually been on the road since it was put together it hasn't got a registration number yet in the UK it's basically it stood for a few years and it needs to be recommissioned which is why it's here so when you turn the fuel tap on fuel pisses out the carbs leaky fork seals change the brake fluid new battery battery's dead get it going etc etc don't know whether it's going to turn into much of a video but I thought it's kind of interesting one to show you because yeah I'll I'll get it out on the yard and give you a bit of a walk around you, you can have a better look at it I can't decide whether I love it or hate it it's it's been nicely done a lot of these things just when they're really customized they don't work but I think this the sort of when you look at it the lot of fucking hell wafflage the lines it looks right if you see what I mean which is not always the case with this type of bike CB 1100R seat unit apparently and then the headlight I think it looks to me you tell me in the comments it looks like a GSX-R headlight and then the inside of the fairing is all fiberglassy. I think it's a one-off custom fairing with a GSX-R headlight. CB1100R seat unit, like I said. Completely one-off exhaust system, as far as I can tell. And then the rest of it's been done really nicely. It's been, I mean, it's been completely gone through. There isn't a single nut or bolt that isn't new or replated or etc. When you get up close and personal to the engine, like look at the sump and stuff, it it looks in really nice condition. The carbs have obviously been completely redone at some point. Whether the engine's been apart, I don't know. A um, little bit too much powder coating for my liking. It's all a bit glossy and shiny, but each to their own. And then I think they could have paid a little bit more attention to the fairing frame. It's a bit too busy, I think. Fucking hell, listen to me picking holes in it. It's somebody spent a lot of time doing it and I'm not criticizing at all. I'm just, it's just observations. And then the wiring inside the fairing, fucking hell. Yeah, that could could be better. And then the, the choice of some of the nuts and bolts. Just, I don't know, why use Meccano when you could use nice stainless fittings and stuff to sort of, you know, it's 99% there. It just needs... Anyway, I'm fucking waffling, aren't I? Um, let's get it on the workbench. Let's get this seat unit off. I need to order a battery for it, but I don't know what battery's on there. Let's pull the carbs. I think it might just be leaking from the fuel distribution pipe that runs across, but it stood for a while, so it's probably not gonna run properly. So if I'm gonna go to the trouble of getting the carbs off, let's get the float bowls off and at least have a good look in there. Got some fork seals coming for it. Yeah, pretty straightforward, hopefully. Looking forward to hearing it with these exhaust pipes. Road test's going to be a bit tricky though because it's not registered. I mean, I might gingerly just ride it up and down the lane here, but I don't really want to incriminate myself on a YouTube video. So yeah, let's see where we end up. Right, let's get it on the bench and crack on. Tank's off. Look at this thing. It's fucking virginal dust under there. I mean, it's... It looks like a new bike, if you see what I mean. Whoever's done it has literally every single nut, bolt, clip. Yeah, beautiful job to be fair. Look at that little Joey what's it? Is that standard? Don't remember them having that on. Yeah, somebody's paid a lot of attention to this. My only criticism, criticism, I can't speak, are these, I fucking hate these Hex, yeah, what on earth is that? What the fuck is that thing? What on earth is that? Somebody explain to me what that is. It's like a lead tag thing attached to the frame 
What the fuck? Okay, whatever. It's beyond my pay grade, that. Uh, yeah. It's nicely done. Gonna get the carbs off. Get the forks out of here. Let's get on or this job's gonna take too long. Been Cerakoted? I think maybe it has. Yeah, the engine's in paint. The barrels are in paint. I think it's been apart. That gasket looks new. Yeah, a lot of time and money gone into this. Right, onwards. Stop talking. A lot easier getting them off that than off a standard CBX. Obviously, velocity stacks, no airbox to fight with, so fucking hell. So much easier. Um, I've got a fuel supply hooked up to them. Turned it on. And it seems to be leaking from... I assumed... If I can get the camera in there. I assumed it was the... You know, the fuel distribution pipe O-rings on the little T-piece where they join the carb bodies. But what seems to be happening is, if I can get... See that drip? It's just coming from this pipe where it joins the... And the same one, this one looks like it's similar. And look how loose the pipes are. So that's nice and easy, because that means I haven't got to split the bodies from one another. Didn't want to go there. Haven't wasted my time taking the carbs off though, because I really need to get the float bowls off and just give them a snifter of carb cleaner, you know, and a, a very basic... Well, it might be green and furry in there and it might turn into a massive carb clean job hopefully not let's flip them over get the float balls off have a look so initial thoughts all looks pretty good there's quite a big build up of silt a general mank in the bottom of the float balls but it's not you know it's not green varnish contamination so a bit of a blow through and a basic clean and we'll be fine the what did i want to say the it's hard to do this one-handed, but the... Can't do it. Hang on. Let me show you. Put it on the bench. Put the camera down, Jim. A way of testing these accelerator pumps is... Oh, spray fuel over here. If you put your finger over this valve and press, it should be able to hold pressure. There's a couple... I won't get into it. There's a couple of one-way valves in there, but that's a good way of... get the idea uh, right so basic carb clean nothing you haven't seen so I'm not going to bother sharing it let's do that and get the forks out carbs are stripped a little bit of uh, green death coming out of them to be fair uh, nothing else to report really they're in beautiful condition just a little bit dirty so yeah got all that going on uh, and the forks are out Fork seals next, uh, and then start putting it back together. Happy days. Hey guys, massive fast forwarding time, sorry. I'm sure there's a lot of this job you would have liked to have seen, like the setting up of the carbs and stuff, but I'm just so on the clock at the moment. I've got so much going on. Just don't have time to film it, I'm really sorry. Subscribe, and then I'll earn more money from YouTube and I'll be able to spend more time on these videos. I just wanted to do the sort of final outro bit and let you listen to this engine. It's absolutely epic with these exhausts on. Uh, let's start it up and I'll... Let me move my microphone, clip it to my camera. Have a listen to this. Stick you down there. Hopefully you'll be able to hear it like I hear it. Uh, right, stand by. Sounds awesome, fair dues. Really like it. You can't be six cylinder engine, can you? Uh, runs really nicely, fair play. Um, I'm not going to road test it though because 
it's not registered yet in the UK, so yeah, I'm not risking it, even though my lane is quite quiet. I think we've got a delivery arriving. Right, I'm going to say goodbye, and I'll catch you on the next one. You know it's never the end when I say it's the end. I just wanted to, I was just listening back to that clip. It sounds sort of like it sounds like in real life, but these fucking microphones, they really pick up all the mechanical noise. And it really doesn't sound like that in reality. It's fucking annoying. The engine sounds really quiet, but somehow the microphone manages to pick up all the, all the mechanical noise. Anyway, that is the end. It, that is the end now. Do the subscribe thing if you if you would. I I know everybody says that at the end of their videos, don't they? With YouTube YouTubers, it really makes a massive difference. Really trying to get my subscribers over thirty thousand, and I'm I'm inching closer. So if you could, I'd really appreciate it. All right, guys, I'll stop waffling. See you on the next one.